At home, if you're wearing a watch, cover it with your hand now. This won't work if you're wearing a digital watch. In fact, take it off and pop it in your shell suit pocket. You look at your watch on average every 20 minutes. That's 26,000 times a year. So you'd absolutely know whether or not your watch has ordinary numbers or Roman numerals or just dashes, wouldn't you? Can you tell without looking? Okay, have a look and check. And then cover it again. All right, you've just looked at your watch, so you know whether it's got a second hand or not, surely. And what about this? What's the exact time on the face? Memory tricks, amongst other things which I'll show you, have got me banned from a lot of casinos in this country. This is my most ambitious project so far. We got a casino's permission to go inside and secretly film. Neither the gamblers nor the croupiers know we're using hidden cameras and CCTV, and no one knows I'm in there to scam them. The object of blackjack is to get your cards to add up to a higher total than the dealer without going over 21. 16, card 16, 17. If you can keep track of the cards which have been dealt, you have the advantage of knowing if the remaining cards are of a useful value. As a child, I learned to do this with a single deck, but casinos shuffle four packs together and I have to keep track of the cards of three other players. And that's 150 pounds to me, right there. As the game progresses, I'm following each player's hand and keeping track of each card that's dealt. Player one on the right gets a 10 to add to his queen, also worth 10, a total of 20. He won't take any more cards. Player two has three, plus two is five, another three makes eight, and a queen makes 18, he'll stop there. But look at mine, a six and a queen makes 16. If I take another, it can't be over five, or else I'll go over 21 and bust. Would you risk it? I've got a good sense of the deck by now, and I take it. It's a four, and I'm on a very good 20. He gets an eight and sticks on 18. The dealer has to beat my 20 to win. A 6, a 9, a 10 make 25. She's gone over 21 and busts, and I win the round. That's 300 pounds to me now. And I keep playing like this until I feel the croupier gets suspicious. It was amazing. Every hand he had 16, and it was either a 4 or a 5 each hand. He'd done you know, a couple of thousand off my table. Never seen it happen before. I can't be that lucky, I don't know. That's just far too lucky. Luck certainly helps, but here's exactly how I do it. In my mind, I'm in a sprawling Florentine house, and in that house is a series of memory rooms, each yielding information I've placed there to remember. When I play cards, I visit the card room on the top floor. In it, I have a collection of 52 objects, each with a mnemonic link to a playing card. The clock set at seven in a dome, for example, represents the seven of diamonds. To play this game of four-deck blackjack, I've attached three stickers to each object. As cards are dealt on the table, I move quickly to the relevant object and remove a sticker. If a card comes up four times, I remove the object entirely. After a while, I can see at a glance which cards are left, and then I know when to play for high stakes. That's about now. I'm confident enough with the remaining cards to play for big money. The other players do well in this game. Player one gets 21, player two gets 18, player four to my left already has 20. I'm on 11, which means if I want, I can double my stake. But if I choose to double, then I only get one final card. Now with only 11, I'd need a very high card for this to be worth it. But if you never take a risk, you'd never win anything. And I have stacked the odds heavily in my favor. So I double, and that's now all my chips on a high card. 2,600 pounds. The most any other player has won at the table is 350. He shouldn't have been getting the cards that he was. He should have been going over and losing his money, but he wasn't. If he'd been taking risks, then he would have lost as well as won, but he just won. He won uh, too regularly, so it just to be there. So he was, also, he was also doing something, um, but uh, no, it wasn't luck. I can see why he's banned from casinos. I think he'd be asked to leave politely. They couldn't afford to have someone like that in the casino. 